Hi there everybody and welcome to the Toon Review YouTube channel to another video. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see please do hit that subscribe button and uh, also the notification bell which will let you know when we go live or we upload a video. Uh, now today's video there's not a lot going on if I'm honest at the minute. Um, obviously it's, it's early Monday morning and things can generate very quickly as we know at Newcastle United but um, a few little stories to tell you. Um, one, the first one is Armando Brogia from Southampton. Now, obviously, he has been linked with a loan deal to Newcastle. Uh, a lot of Newcastle fans do like the idea of Brogia coming to Newcastle, despite the fact he had a very quiet end to the back end of last season. Um, but it's been made known this morning that Everton are also interested in taking the player, but taking him on a permanent basis. Uh, so that hasn't been sort of touted around for Newcastle. They were looking at a year's loan. Now, what happens after that year's loan, we don't know. Whether that means an option to buy or not, depending on how Brogia performs, uh, we're not sure of what the loan um, details would be. However, Everton has stated this morning that they are very interested in bringing him in on a permanent basis, which would say to me that it may be more appealing to Brogia to have that permanent deal in place because he's then been able to build his, his future up at a club that he knows he's staying at. We know what Chelsea's like, loaning players out left, right and centre. The, the players don't feel any stability at the club when that happens. So if Brogia's going to go out on a permanent deal, that may seem much more um, appealing to him than what a loan deal does. But if Newcastle are also offering the opportunity to have a permanent basis after the loan, then you know our club would undoubtedly be more appealing. Uh, than Everton. Um, we all know that Everton had a terrible season last year. I'm not so sure they're going to do much better this year, to be honest. Uh, the jury's out on Frank Lampard, etc., etc. So it'll be interesting to see what Brogia would think if we went in for a loan and Everton went in for a permanent. Would he take the permanent option just for that backup that he's got there uh, to build his career at a club? Uh, only time will tell. Now, legendary commentator John Champion has uh, been talking to The Chronicle and uh, he stated that he believes that Newcastle United should actually be challenging the likes of Liverpool and Manchester City for big-name players. Now, I don't think he meant this season in particular. I think what he thinks is Newcastle United, the players that they've already signed this, uh, this summer and the players that they've been linked to could well be good enough to get to Europe next season. Now, if that's the case, John Champion believes that Newcastle United should be chasing the same sort of players that Manchester City and Liverpool are. Now... In my opinion, I think that's what Manchester City and Liverpool will be worried about in the coming years, that Newcastle United have got the, the financial power to go out there and bring the big names in, uh, which will then challenge them. But it's no good saying that if we're not challenging for the big trophies. I think we all know as fans that we're not going to bring in the world, world-class players yet until we are challenging in Europe and we are doing something in Europe on a consistent basis. Then the big, big names um, will certainly want to come to the club. There's no doubt in my eyes about that. But it's great to hear that somebody uh, like John Champion, who is a legendary commentator, of course, knows his football inside out, that he is pretty confident that Newcastle United, over the next few years, will be challenging to bring in the big players alongside Manchester City and Liverpool. And let's be honest, that's what they're worried about at the minute. Uh, now, away from that, back to transfer news and uh, Emmanuel Dennis, who is a player who has been highly linked with Newcastle United, um, obviously playing at Watford at the minute. Watford relegated. Emmanuel Dennis has already stated he wants to leave the club, um, but it, it looks like he's in no hurry because Watford have come out and said that uh, Emmanuel Dennis and Ismail Assar, to be honest, who both have asked to leave the club, are not creating any problems. Uh, they've asked to leave. I think the Watford as a club understand that these players are at a very, very higher level than the Championship and deserve to be in the in, in the top league, in the Premier League. Now, Newcastle United more strongly linked with Emmanuel Dennis over the last five to seven days. Uh, we don't know if any bids being put in or any talks have taken place yet, of course, but it will be interesting to see how that one pans out. Now, to me, it says that um, Emmanuel Dennis is, uh, is a very good um, footballer professional, both on, on and off the pitch. Uh, you know, we, we see these players who get relegated with clubs and demand instantly that they move and cause all sorts of problems for the relegated club. But it seems like Dennis isn't doing that. He's ready to sit and just wait for the right club to come along. Uh, now, is Newcastle United that club? Uh, I guess only time will tell on that one. But it's certainly one to keep an eye on over the next few days. Now, yes, Newcastle United are, of course, over in Austria at the minute. So um, we're not sure what sort of deals would take place. But whether the, um, the owners uh, and Dan Ashworth can take care of incomings while the club is uh, in Austria, 
then obviously if any signings take place, they can fly them out quite easily to the training camp. So um, Eddie Howe will be in constant touch with the owners and Dan Ashworth, of course, if anything should arrive uh, with transfers. But obviously we'll talk about that in much more detail on tonight's uh, transfer show. Uh, now, finally, we've got Maxwell Corne. Now, he has been heavily linked again within the last three to four days. Uh, we do know that he's got a, um, a release clause. Now, the problem was with this release clause... Uh, Everybody was thinking, well, is it still active because of the relegation? Does that mean that Burnley, uh, you know, the relegation clause just gets, it just disappears into thin air and Burnley can get what they want from? Uh, apparently, that release clause is still active. So it is still there. And I believe it's around £17.5 million pounds, uh, for Maxwell Corne. Um, I'd say, as a fan, yes, go for it. I think he's a fantastic footballer. Uh, you know, he had a few injury problems last season, of course, at Burnley. But when he did play, he was sensational. Now, this guy can play left back, left wing, right wing. He can play anywhere. Uh, and he's very quick. He's a brilliant with the football. And he's a very good finisher as well, as we saw for Burnley last season. So for me, £17.5 million for a player of that calibre, I'd say snap the hands off. You know, definitely. Uh, but again, we'll talk about that more on tonight's transfer show. Don't forget to tune into that. If you're watching this on the Monday, uh, it's 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, but if you're watching this at a later date, you can obviously catch up with a replay or catch it on Spotify or iTunes if you want to listen to it as a podcast. But there you go, guys. That's the early news from the start of the week at Newcastle United. Nothing great, nothing exciting too much at the minute. Uh, but again, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the coming days. Uh, but as I say, if you have enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. Uh, it does help support the channel and let YouTube know that this channel is going places. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so. And also the notification bell, which will let you know when we upload or go live. But thank you very much for watching today, guys. We'll catch you on the transfer show later tonight. Take care.